Hi, my name is Art Orhalo. I'm one of the R&D scientists here at Biceric Technologies. I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to simultaneously visualize both RNA and protein in the same fixed cell using the Solaris Fish technology. Now, although Biocirc technology does not make fluorescently labeled antibodies, we would like to demonstrate how easy it is to combine both standard immunofluorescence with RNA and CG hybridization. The combination of Stellaris fish with immunofluorescence provides very visually rich data. You can now study gene regulation at both the transcriptional and translational level at the same time. You can potentially look at RNA in defined compartments using intracellular protein markers. Before I get started, I would like to mention that you can design these large fish probes free of charge using the probe designer on the Biosearch Technology website at biosearchtech.com slash designer. So now that my cells have been grown on number one cover slips and are ready to go, the first thing I want to do is to fix and permeabilize my cells. The cells will be fixed in paraformaldehyde and will be permeabilized in 70% ethanol. Now this will allow penetration of the Stellaris fish probes as well as the primary unlabeled antibody. Secondly is a hybridization step where we will hybridize the cells with both the Stellaris fish probes and the primary unlabeled antibody in the same high buffer. Now in this experiment we'll be doing an overnight incubation at 37 degrees which you can do it as little as four hours. The third step is the wash step. Now this is important because it will remove any unbound Stellaris fish probes and excess unlabeled primary antibody. Now the wash will be done with the labeled secondary antibody for about 30 minutes at 37 degrees and a second wash step with again the labeled secondary antibody plus DAPI now for nuclear counter staining. So after some additional washes, the cells are mounted on a microscope slide with antioxidants. Lastly, the cells will be taken to a wide field fluorescence microscope where we'll be taking Z stacks of our mRNAs such that every mRNA is in focus and later do a maximum intensity merge. So the only difference we see with this large fish protocol is what we see in orange. So now that we're done here, let's go over to the lab bench where my colleague will perform the assay. So after taking out your cells from the incubator, the media is aspirated and the cells are washed one time with PBS. So after the single wash in PBS, the cells are placed in fixation buffer, which is 3.7% paraformaldehyde in 1x PBS. The cells are fixed for 10 minutes at room temperature. So after the fixation step, the cells are now washed two times in 1x PBS. After the final wash with PBS, cells are now permeabilized with 70% ethanol. The cells are incubated at 4 degrees for at least one hour, but the cells are good for up to one week at 4 degrees. So after permeabilization, the cells are then equilibrated in wash buffer. The components of the wash buffer can be found on the Stellaris Protocol webpage of the Biosearch Technologies. So during this brief equilibration period in wash buffer, the humidified chamber is assembled. This consists of two wet napkins, a 15 centimeter plate, and a single layer of parafilm. Now for each cover slip, a 15 microliter drop of hybridization buffer plus the Lars probe plus unlabeled primary antibody is added. The cover slip with cells are carefully transferred face down. The plate is capped and sealed with parafilm. This will keep the insides of the plate humidified. In this experiment, the cells will be incubated overnight at 37 degrees. The next day, before taking out your cells from the incubator, I'll quad enough wash buffer with secondary labeled antibodies to the wells. Carefully transfer your cells face up into the wells of wash buffer containing labeled secondary antibody. The cells are now incubated for 30 minutes at 37 degrees. After the 30 minutes of wash, the wash buffer is aspirated. The cells are again incubated in wash buffer, plus labeled secondary antibody and DAPI. The cells are then incubated for 30 minutes at 37 degrees.
After the second wash, the cells are now briefly washed in 2x SSC. The cells are now equilibrated in anti-fade buffer minus enzymes. And again, the components of the anti-fade buffer can be found on our Solaris Protocols webpage. During this equilibration period in anti-fade buffer, a single drop of anti-fade buffer plus enzymes is placed on a microscope slide. The covered slips are then transferred face down onto the single drop of anti-fade buffer plus enzymes. Carefully seal the cover slip with clear nail polish. Incubate cover slips for at least 10 minutes at room temp until the nail polish has dried and proceed to imaging. So now, the last thing to do is to image your cells on a normal wide field fluorescence microscope. So you take your slide, put it on the fluorescence microscope, and focus in on your cells using the nuclear DAPI stain. Once that's done, proceed to the appropriate channel and focus in on your mRNAs and take an automated z stacks Next, proceed to the appropriate channel to look at your protein and take the same number of z stacks And finally, just merge the two under a maximum intensity merge and you'll have a nice beautiful pictures of your mRNAs and protein. That's it, that's all there is to it. The Solaris Fish technology provides valuable insight into the inner workings of the cell while adding very little complexity to your experiment. Now, I do encourage you to replicate this experiment in your own cell types using the Solaris Fish probe against your RNA and looking at your protein of interest. Thanks for watching.